Lennox is beating a pillow. <laughs> Punching a pillow. Well, what did the pillow do to him? Did the pillow was the pillow talking bad about darling sister? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a oop. Did you wear your, your wedding ring to Brandon's house? Yes. And a oop. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Good evening. Hello, honey. And we're also joined by our darling son, Lennox Albert. Lennox, please say hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you both for joining me at the dining room table for our little program here. And that oop. Okay, so we ate at Cold Stone Creamy, Creamery. We ate at Creamy. McDonald's. <laughs> Creamy. Uh, we ate a McDonald's and we ate a Jefferson Bar and Grill. Uh, Cold Stone and McDonald's, obviously chain restaurants. Jefferson Bar and Grill is a uh, West Sacramento restaurant. Uh, so a lot of people d- won't be able to identify with it. But our experience there, I think a lot of people can relate. Uh, because we waited nearly a half hour in the blazing hot sun Oy. for uh, mediocre food. Let's be honest. Uh, okay, so let's start out with uh, Cold Stone Creamery. Uh, honey, what does Cold Stone Creamery mean to you in your life? What do you think about uh, when you hear Cold Stone Creamery? When I think of Cold Stone, I think of being in high school. And mm. I think it was, at least in our area, it was fairly new. So it was like really exciting, like this yeah. ice cream place. And they, they mix it together on the yeah. frozen slab and you watch them yeah. with these little chopper. Yeah, they're, they're like metal spatula- uh, spatulas. Metal spatulas yeah. yeah. And That's... so it was like a fun, hip, happening place we would go to. Yeah. I remember when Cold Stone first uh, came to uh, the Tony suburbs of San Diego. Uh, and yeah, it was like, you'd be like, man, they, they, whatever ice cream you want. And then there's a bunch of mix-ins or toppings, whatever. And they whip it up there on a, a marble slab with uh, some steel <laughs> <laughs> shovels or whatever. Uh, <laughs> and in front of you, and it's it's a mind-blowing thing. Uh, it's like, uh, what's the sushi place where they, oh whoosh, yeah, that thing, that thing, and that oop, Benihana, Benihana, where the chef whips it up there in front of you, yeah, and it's exactly like that. There's fire everywhere. <laughs> you may lose an eyebrow, but you get some uh, decent uh, teriyaki chicken. I don't know, uh, but uh, yeah, Cold Stone, um, actually. But it, it did come to San Diego, and I've been aware of it for decades. Uh, I'm now 26, honey. I don't know if you know. Uh, but uh, I but the la- we went there to this exact location, West Sacramento, yeah, next yeah. to Target. We went there about six months ago, I mm-hmm. want to say. Um, yeah. And that was the first time I had ever been to a Cold Stone. Oh, so you knew of it, but you'd never actually gone? Right. Wow. I don't know why. I have no idea You've why. You've been missing out. I, I, yeah, I was, yeah, I, I ordered the apple pie a la oh. mode, and this was six months ago. Blew my mind. Yeah. It was so flipping good. Like, just left Baskin Robbins in the dust, <laughs> and, and Menchies and all these uh, Froyo mm-hmm. joints. I was just like, I, I've, I've, I've been missing out. I've been missing out. This time, uh, the apple pie a la mode was uh, highly disappointing. Mm. Uh but we went to Cold Stone, uh, West Sacramento. It's uh, Town Center Plaza, right next to Target. Uh, the previous visit, like I said, six months ago. Um, if you remember, honey, the employee, one of the employees, uh, a young gal, uh, she was wearing a mask. This is when we were super masked up. And uh, she was wearing a mask, and it had a chocolate stain on it. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, because, you know, she's mixing in this stuff on the yeah. marble slab, and it's flying everywhere. yeah. It's a dangerous job. But it looked highly disturbing, just this brown, <laughs> uh, this big brown yeah. spot on her nose, on her mask. And, uh, well, you think of, uh, you think of a uh, fecal matter. <laughs> it was, I, well, I, was, I just thought, does, is she not aware of I was, that I was big wondering if she, spot? was she aware of it or not. Right. And, and if she was, why didn't she just uh, swap out a new mask? Maybe she didn't have one. <sighs> There, there are masks in, in, in the parking lot everywhere, honey. They're, they're on the ground. In the gutters. They're free. They, and you know what? But the, a, a lot of those masks on the ground, in the gutters, they look better than the mask she was wearing. Oh, because it was highly dear. disturbing. I couldn't stop thinking about a poo-poo uh, <laughs> while she was whipping up our ice cream. It was off-putting. It was, it was just it was not, not a pleasant uh, sight. Um, so uh, this location, uh, there were no tables inside still, which... It's a decent sized location, and there, there were there were no tables to sit at. 
Um, it was too hot to drive home. I mean, it was like mid nineties that day. We were with uh, your parents, Liz and I. Yeah, Alan. we thought just our short drive home, the ice cream would have completely melted. Right, it would have. Would have. It was yeah, such a hot day. Disintegrated. So no tables inside. I guess we could have stood inside and ate there, but we walked right outside and and uh, in the in the disgusting heat <laughs> and sat on a. Uh, disgusting public benches and uh, enjoyed our cold stone creamy um but yeah i i don't know why they don't have tables back yet yeah it could fit two little tables that seat two people yeah but that's better than nothing yeah there, there it could have had some seating the the baskin robbins and rosemont is smaller and has a couple tables <laughs> it does yeah so it, they, they need their tables back um and then another thing we saw was the family ahead of us uh a, like mom, dad, brother, sister, and a oop. The family ahead of us, mom, dad, brother, sister. Brother was haranguing sister, <laughs> little brother, big sister. He was bugging her, he was messing this with her. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Family four. <laughs> well, it's not little a little brother. <laughs> it, it, it got all meta, man. Uh, but he, he was, I, he was like kind of just in her ear, like on her shoulder, yeah. in her ear, bugging her. And dad went. Went ape dung, grabbed him, pulled him out of the uh, froyo. What is this place called? Cold Creamery. Stone. <laughs> Cold Stone. <laughs> uh, made him sit on the bench by himself. He got ice cream. He brought out the dad. Brought out the ice cream, but the brother, dad was like, "You need to uh, shape shape up, young man. Stop sc- bugging your sister." It was scary. Yeah, it was it was live freaky because uh, the guy, uh, the father, had many tattoos, mm-hmm. and he was wearing uh, sandals without socks and. <laughs> Who knows what could happen, honey? Reckless abandon. I was scared for my life. I'm literally shaking still. Um, Okay, so that's the location. Let's talk about Cold Stone. Uh, One thing I find confusing is their sizes. So they don't have small, medium, and large. No, they got to be all cutesy. They got to be cutesy. So small is like it. Medium is love it. And large is gotta have it oh gosh and you just feel so dumb when you order i would like a gotta have it of chocolate ice cream it's, what, what is that and you know what the, the employees hate it too oh yeah they oh, don't yeah. they don't want you they want you to just say small medium large right and, and they have to clarify because some people might mix the like it yeah. and the love it gotta have why it why do they make it so difficult i don't know it's like starbucks with the venti the grande the mache or whatever I, it's so medium or large. i hate it whenever i go to starbucks i just want to say i want a small or a medium but yeah. i feel like i can't like i feel like it's not allowed there yeah so i just i say can i get a tall latte and i hate myself <laughs> a grande. no no i i i say small honey and you know oh. what the starbucks employees they appreciate it. You're bold. They're I'm like, too scared. They're like, they're not buying into this mermaid mm-hmm. on our uh, logo nonsense. And, and this uh, James Blunt that's playing uh, <laughs> on over the speaker. And uh, these uh, $14 tumblers here uh, that are a ripoff. Just say small, medium, and large. So, yeah, just the, like it, love it. I want some more <laughs> of it. I wonder if anyone's That's ever That's the done extra, that. extra large. <laughs> so, so dumb. You just feel like an idiot ordering. I want to love it. No, I want to like it. <laughs> uh, next thing about Cold Stone. Uh, lids. So you and uh, Darling Son, Lennox Albert, went before me. And you guys got your uh, orders. Um, and they, they ask you, do you want a lid? Which it kind of means to go, right? Like, right. If you want but a lid, it's all to go. Right, right. It? It's all to go. <laughs> And the lid, I guess if you're driving home, but again, it's yeah, it's 98 degrees outside. So, well, well I saw okay. So they pack they pack the bowl uh, the bowl full of uh, ice cream and uh, mixins or whatever, and then they throw a lid on there. And I saw your ice cream, and I saw darling son lennox albert's ice cream and literally the ice cream was like pushing up yeah, against the lid it was about to explode right and that and that's before even walking outside in <laughs> what 180 degree temperature temperature every time i go to cold stone and get a lid yeah. it's a mess yeah it's like bursting at the seams yeah and you and then you go to take it off and it falls out everywhere it's, right it's, it's very messy pfft, it's like a volcano or whatever uh and so I saw you and Darling Lennox and the, the, the problems that you were about to have with a lid. So I said, no lid. And uh, I saved myself a bunch of heartache. Lennox Albert, yes. Did you get a cone or a cup? I got a, a cone cup. A cone bowl. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just a, like, 
the the cone that's shaped into the a waffle bowl. thing is shaped like a right because okay. they can put it into a in, into a little oh, that's uh, right. okay. into a little cup. Uh, but so Darling Lennox got a lid, and yeah. again, it's it's literally like like it's like well, it's like a. a an obese person wearing a tight fitting shirt. I don't like the ice cream is <laughs> trying to push the lid up. And the second you uh, pull the lid back a little, ice cream starts going. But Lennox Albert, he turned into a mess. <laughs> oh, he was such a mess. <laughs> ice cream was everywhere. And the heat did not help because it was. Heat- He's a slower eater, and yeah. the heat was just yeah. melting it at such a quick pace, and yeah. so it was all over his shirt, his yeah. shorts, his face. <laughs> he was a mess. But Liz Fisher, to the rescue, she had wet wipes in mm. her purse, so she started uh, cleaning him up, wiping him up, and and I said, honey, do you have wet wipes in your purse? No. And you said no, and I was like, you need to get some wet wipes yeah. in your It's It's such a genius uh, idea, life hack, viral uh, TikTok <laughs> life hack that will change your life. Um yeah, we you need some wet wipes in your I purse, do. honey. Getting it. And getting since we're that. going to since we're going to San Diego, we need to get a bunch of wet oh, wipes definitely. anyways. Okay. Um, so I w- I didn't go with the lid, and my life was uh, easy peasy, uh, lemon squeezy. Uh, and a cold stone. So there's too much choice. <laughs> so uh, a choice paralyzes me, honey. It debilitates yeah. me. I, I can't stand even the froyo places. Like uh, there's thirty different toppings. And I, I choose 10 of them and it's too much and I hate, I hate <laughs> myself because <laughs> it's just sugar overload. Uh, but with uh, Cold Stone, there's there's not a ton of ice cream flavors. It's not like Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. Cold Stone has about 10 or 12. It's manageable, yeah. Yeah. But then the mix-ins, oh, yeah. it's nonstop. And, and uh, I didn't count them at, at, uh, at the location, but I went on their website. And they have about 40 wow. mix-in options. Yeah. Up to 40. Something so, that's helpful at Cold Stone is that the first mix-in is free. And then uh, after that, you pay. Mm. So I'm just, I don't want to pay for extra. So I just pick one thing. And uh, then it helps me not have to say, well, do I want this and that and that? Yeah. Would that go good together? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's too much too much decision making. I want someone <laughs> just to tell me what to do, where to go, when to wake up, <laughs> how to go to work, what time to go to work. Um, yeah. For, so 40 minutes. Well, what I did was I, I did the... Uh, the pre-made signature creations or whatever. That's the apple pie a la mode. It's, it's like, here's what it is. Here are the ingredients. Cool. I don't need to uh, uh, b- break my uh, brain over uh, 40 different mixes. Is that why you go with the pre-made? Absolutely. Like, pre-made. <laughs> Absolutely. I saved myself the heartache, honey. I'm too I'm too uh, smart. I don't want to use brain power uh, on something so, uh, so silly and dumb and insignificant. Mm. I'd rather be thinking about the bigger problems out there. Like uh, Richard Branson going to space. I don't know. Uh, our total was $40 for six people. It's me, you, Lennox, Luna, and uh, Liz and Allen. It was actually, I lied to you all. What? I was just looking at my bank account the other day. It was actually $34. $34. Okay. That's a little more manageable. Yeah. Uh, but $34 for, for six of us. So it was about five bucks each. Not bad. Almost, yeah, not bad. Um, but you came out. And we're all eat. We're we're trying to scarf down this melting ice cream uh, in the in the hundred degree heat. And and I I asked, did you tip? And you said, no. no. Because we we were six people, and I thought and that the employees yeah. handled us very well. They uh, did. One gentleman was helping us, and the girl kind of came in and helped uh, me. Um, so they they tag teamed us, and I thought they got our orders together quickly, and they handled our party of six very decently they, yeah and then so a 34 dollar uh, <laughs> a tab you did not tip honey. they deserved a tip and you know i'm a big tipper yeah yeah well that's what but shocked me I, I, was it the brown stain it, on her com- mask no that was the previous yes when it comes to places like this yeah i sometimes forget to tip or it yeah. doesn't cross my mind because, yeah like if someone's bringing service to me like at a table right then obviously i'm gonna tip but i did feel bad and i said when we we're outside eating, I told you, oh, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go back in when we're done, and I'm gonna put cash in the little jar. Yeah. And then I forgot. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, you go back in there and uh, give them five dollars. Give them nice young folk five dollars. And then uh, I completely forgot. The heat got to my brain. <laughs> I, I didn't follow up. I didn't pay attention. And I feel bad. I'm sorry, Cold Stone. Uh, we're sorry. We're sorry, Cold Stone. Uh, okay, let's get to our food, uh, honey. You got the sugar-free vanilla with strawberries. So you kept it sweet and simple, and I like that. And the mix-in, first mix-in being free, 
That's just uh, thrifty spending. Grandma Tian, uh, my mom would be proud of you, honey. And you got it in the like it size. I mean the small size. Yes, the small size. No, you like it. I like it a little. Like it. You, you know what I mean? You like it. That's, that's how you should order it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. No, I, like I love it. it. No, I love it. I love it. No, no, I got to have it. I got to have it. Give me the large. Uh, sugar-free vanilla with strawberries. So he- healthy-ish, as healthy, yes. as, healthy well, as you can be. We had we were at Cold Stone right after we'd been at Jefferson Bar and Grill. Yes. When I, I had a big, greasy plate of delicious food. Oh, uh, yeah. So I was trying to be somewhat healthier. Yes. Uh, so uh, thoughts, feelings, comments, reflections, honey? The sugar-free was okay. Mm. It wasn't great. Yeah. But it, it was fine. It was cold and refreshing, and I love um, I love vanilla ice cream with like fruit and berries in it. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite ice cream combos. Were the strawberries? Did they have syrup on them? Or no. Were they candied? No, they're, they're refreshed? just plain strawberries. Yeah. Okay. Cut in half or thirds or something. Good, good, good. It's good. <laughs> okay, Frank. Our cat is uh, is uh, stretching himself. Hi, and oh, Lennox is over there. Alrighty. Uh, uh, so. Uh, you enjoyed it. It could. Well, what I liked it. it. I didn't love it. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't gotta have it. Uh, one to ten, honey. Uh, five. Five. Okay. Serviceable. Yeah. Didn't knock your socks off. I, but... I would get it again. Okay. Uh, so I got the apple pie a la Cold Stone instead mm. of a la mode. Do you see what they did there? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I got the love it. I wanted to get to get the gotta have it. Cause, well, I'm a fat person, honey, and I, I love to eat, and I and I fill the void in my heart and soul with savory snacks and junk food and ice cream. Um, but anyways, you had some restraint, though. This is what I'm gonna say next time. I would like to gotta have it because <laughs> I'm filling the the vast emptiness in my soul with sweets and forty mixins. Please. The employees would like to hear your story. <laughs> they do. They would. Uh, apple <laughs> apple pie, a la Cold Stone. Uh, the Love It size, which is medium. I wanted the Gotta Have It, but after eating the Love It, the medium, I was happy I didn't get the Gotta Have yeah, It. Yeah, it was big. And I yeah, and I wished I had I got to like it because it was uh. it was even too much. The Love It was too much. Um, so uh, I was filled with regret, but not as much regret as if uh, I got the <laughs> Gotta Have It. Uh, and okay, so uh, the apple pie a la Cold Stone is described from Cold Stone's website as just like Mama used to make. My mom, yes, my, my mom <laughs> just like Grandma Tian used to make. <laughs> my mom, Grandma Tian never made apple pie. She <laughs> makes a mean cheesecake though, a Ooh. very good cheesecake. Yeah, uh, uh, just like Mama used to make. If Mama used used to make French vanilla ice cream with cinnamon, graham cracker pie crust, apple pie filling. And caramel, of course, you gotta have it. Okay, I added that last part. Uh, and then the ingredients they list: uh, French vanilla ice cream with cinnamon, graham cracker pie crust, apple pie filling, and caramel. In a last-minute clutch decision, oh, that—that's my editorial, honey. <laughs> caramel, <laughs> caramel was the last ingredient, but in a last-minute, last-minute clutch decision, because I was just gonna get it in a regular cup. I went with the chocolate dipped uh, waffle oh, cone. You got chocolate dipped too? Yeah, wow. Right. Well, you I didn't were paying, realize that. You yeah. were paying, honey. <laughs> my treat. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow, so I, that I, sounds I, so good. I went all out. It wasn't. <laughs> I know, but why wasn't it? Well, I, I'm gonna. I'm about to tell you, lover. Oh, you're leading me in. <laughs> that was a good transition. You're. Uh, uh, your professional broadcaster, a la Marshall Phillips. Uh, so, uh, like I said, last time I got the apple pie, a la Cold Stone. Blown away. Like, life-changing. Uh, I had was, a bite last time, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was so out of this world, outstanding, fantastic. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Um, cannot be beat. Uh, and so, this time, very little decision-making. I was like, boom, apple pie, a la Cold Stone. Um, but this time it was just a, com- a, a complete miss, uh, a ball. If, if I was a pitcher in the baseball game, I'd, it would, it would be a wild pitch, honey. It would, it would have missed the play completely. Do you know what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> it's a sports analogy. Oh, okay. And I used to care about sports and then I grew up, honey, and became an adult. Uh, so, uh, let's go through the ingredients. French vanilla ice cream with cinnamon. Okay, it's fine. It's, uh, it's ice cream with cinnamon. Good. No problem there. Uh, caramel. 
a, again, I'm a caramel fan. Like when it comes down to uh, ice cream sundaes and like a McDonald's, do you want the hot fudge or mm. caramel? I always mm-hmm. go caramel. Mm. Caramel is a much like more complex flavor, and chocolate is everywhere these days. You right. get chocolate. You can get chocolate, chocolate on the streets, honey. So basic. Yeah. Uh, the graham cracker pie crust. This was the big miss because last time there were big chunks oh. of the graham cracker graham cracker pie crust, and there were a lot of them. Mm. So a lot of crunching going on. Graham cracker crust, so yummy and sweet, and uh, and uh, just uh, just unbelievable. But this time. There was none, or oh. it was like too finely chopped. You you know when you get a froyo and it has like graham cracker as one of the toppings, oh, like the the it's like, dust. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like sand. Yeah, yes. yeah. So maybe that's what happened mm. here, but it was it was just missing. It wasn't there. Yeah. Um, when you are eating ice cream, yeah, the more chunks, the better. The yes. chunkier, the better. Yes, I'm I'm big on texture. I'm all about that texture life. Uh, so when there were no chunks of graham cracker crust, heartbreaking, honey. Uh, it's affecting me to this day. I couldn't sleep last night. Uh, and then uh, the chocolate dipped waffle cone. It, it, and this happens whenever you get a cone that's not fresh. They they, they just kind of sit there until someone's like, yeah. hey, I want a cone. Yeah. And has it been there two minutes? Has it been there a day? What Was it there, for, there from yesterday? Um, so it was okay, but it was just hard. It wasn't fresh. Um, it wasn't crunchy, really. Does the ice cream soak into the bottom and make it soggy? Yes, yes. That's why. So I, I ate the because the the cone bowl, as it were, kind of it its like, wings go everywhere. Yeah, it has like a skirt. <laughs> yeah, it has a skirt. It. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good description. It has a chocolate skirt, and I, I bit on that. Um, but then at the end, it was just the the, the bottom. <laughs> And again, it's 100 degrees outside or whatever. So uh, the bottom was just soaked with the moisture and liquid. Mm. And I just threw it out because I, I, that wouldn't have been a pleasant uh, oh, experience. You didn't taste it? Correct. Mm. But I but I ate the cone. I mean, I ate a bunch yeah. of cone that was uh, chocolate dipped. The skirt, if you will. Tight little skirt. <laughs> um, and it, it was it was fine, but it's just not, it wasn't fresh. So it was a little stale. Um, and like I said, I didn't finish it. Um because it was just wet on the bottom. Uh, another thing was the apple pie filling. Uh, last time there was, it was apple pie filling, but it was very chopped up small, like very fine. Uh, the apple Diced. pieces themselves? Yeah. Okay. But then this time it was like uh, like a canned fruit, like canned mm. peaches, like that size. And I, I'm not out here trying to meet, uh, eat uh, Mott's applesauce or whatever, honey. <laughs> like giant pieces of a, of a candied apple, canned candied apple. Mm. So it was it was so huge pieces of just kind of gross <laughs> uh, mm. apple. And then no uh, uh, crust, crunchy crust texture. Huge miss. Huge miss. As I said, the, my previous uh, experience... Um, for the exact same thing, apple pie a la, co- a la stone, cold stone, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, whatever you want to call it, a hundred. Uh, but uh, when we went on, on uh, Monday, two out of 10. Oh. And maybe it was a three or four out of 10, but because the first time was so good. Yes, you had that to compare it. Yeah, so. and this was just so bad. I got, I got to bring it down a few notches. Uh, so I, Big I, sad, big disappointment. <laughs> sad, sad emoji. Um yeah, just uh, I, I wanted more. And don't we all want more? Uh, okay, so let's move on to McDonald's, honey. We got McDonald's yesterday. Uh, you were craving a Big Mac. Uh, <laughs> they have French fries. Our darling children love French fries. Lennox was bugging us all day for McDonald's. Yeah. He was persistent. He likes McNuggets. McNuggets and fries. Yeah. Yeah. So that is really what pushed us over the edge. Yeah. His insistence. Yeah, we're all about uh, uh, the best in nutrition here at the Nicholas <laughs> we're household. We're all about good, firm parenting. <laughs> uh, we had had a few uh, spirits, if you will. So we got DoorDash uh, from the McDonald's on Lake Washington in West Sac. Uh, we got the shareable, shareable meal, which is they give you a bunch of food for a good price. Uh, shareable meal, it's called the Classic Big Mac Pack. It has 20 uh, Chicken McNuggets, two Big Macs, and two medium fries for $15.79. I threw in a hot and spicy McChicken in there for $2.29 just because. Um, and it was, uh, total was uh, $24.47. Um, so, a couple of things going on here. One, uh, DoorDash, 
with their fees and all. So uh, we we paid twenty four forty seven, but that's with a little tax, a little fee, and a tip, four dollar tip. Uh, but originally, when I was in DoorDash. The, the order had ballooned to over $30. And this is an $18 order that goes up to $30 because of all their dang fees. Uh, so I, I, sub, I subscribe to the Dash Pass, which is a subscription service. It's $10 a month, $9.99 a month, uh, but you get no delivery fee. So if you, if you use it, and delivery fee is usually around 5 bucks per order. So if you use it twice a month, over, over three times a month, you're already quote-unquote, making uh, the nine ninety nine price. Um, so I got the Dash Pass. I signed up. I saved 5 bucks because the delivery fee is gone and the service fee, whatever that is, is reduced. Uh, and then this morning, I canceled the Dash, pa- Dash Pass <laughs> because uh, I didn't want to pay for it, even though well, we had two week- I had two weeks free. Uh, now, uh, as far as McNuggets, honey, uh, the last time we got McNuggets... And I know there are supposed to be no secrets in, in marriage, honey, but I, I have a secret. I have a revelation. Oh, no. The last time we got McNuggets, they were so bad. <laughs> Deep inside my heart, and I didn't vocalize this to you. I didn't tell this to you. But I, I told myself, I'm never ordering McNuggets again. They were so, excuse me, bad. I can't believe you kept that from me. Terrible. Just, they were old. Uh, the chicken was bad, dry. Uh, the breading was stale. It was just, it was an inferior experience, so I said never again. I don't know if I'm getting older and wiser and more mature, mm-hmm. or if McDonald's is going downhill. Yeah. But as time goes on, Both. <laughs> McDonald's quality gets worse, Yeah. and my enjoyment is less. Yeah. The, well, when we talk about, like, just fast food, I never, like, want anything from McDonald's. I'll eat McDonald's. Yeah, sure. I, ne- I don't want it either. And well, the one saving grace of McDonald's is their fries. I love their fries. You don't like their fries. I think fries. they're mediocre. I, I think they're top of top of the food chain, and and as far as uh, fast food fries. Well, who who would you put higher than uh, Maca McDonald's uh, French fries? Arby's, Burger no. King. Well, Arby's does the season curly. It's a different. Well, it's a oh, different. Okay, beast so you're talking than... about just the traditional? I yeah. Don't, I, I don't. Sure. I don't even know. I'm not familiar yeah. enough with each place. I just know that McDonald's. Don't blow me away. Hmm. And well, I know everyone loves them. Yeah. I just think they're kind of me. I, I am familiar me. with each place, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I used to weigh nearly 400 pounds. And I'm telling you, McDonald's fries are the best. Uh, so uh, Lennox got the nuggets and some fries. Uh, you wanted the Big Mac. Again, I don't crave a Big Mac, but it, it's a fine sandwich. And I used to work at McDonald's and... Uh, in uh, the Tony suburbs of San Diego when I was a uh, 16-year-old man. I remember making them. Uh, it, was, it was good times, honey. Good times. I remember eating too many and uh, <laughs> gaining weight very quickly. I haven't had one in about 15 years. It, yeah. it just looked so appealing last night. Hmm. So yeah. you just wanted one? Well, we, you, were, you were showing me those meals, family yeah, meals, whatever. shareables, yeah. Shareables. And out of all the options, that looked the best. Mm-hmm. It's all about that sauce. <laughs> uh so the shareable meal, uh, it d- it did come with two medium fries, and I was I was at first I was hesitant because again our children they love French fries, and I want to get them the biggest size we, which is yes. large. But then you brought up uh, the medium slash large fries paradox. Well, I recently watched a TikTok. Yes. Oh, was it life changing? Is it a viral? It food was life changing. Yes. So they they got they had a medium cardboard McDonald's fries, mm-hmm. and then they had an empty large mcdonald's cardboard yes size yes and they poured the medium fries into the empty large container and it was exactly the same wow is your mind blown wow my mind is blown and we've gotten large fries before they don't fill that mofo up okay <laughs> oh yeah straight, that's the other straight thing straight up they, they put in about two-thirds of the amount of right. uh of a uh, of, of space there and it's it's always disappointing they could put another scoop at least yeah they could put uh, listen when, when I was working at McDonald's, I had, I packed the crap out of those fry containers because who cares? Like well, you, you want you want you want uh, the customers to come back. You're a good person. I, I am a good person. I'm still a good person, honey. Uh, another thing. Okay, so the BTS meal. This was a big, quote unquote, big uh, promotion that ended literally like two weeks ago, but it was. And it's all these, these stupid celebrity meals. It's just the regular food. <laughs> it's the regular food, and they put their picture on it. Right. <laughs> and and you you get to say, I went the Travis Scott meal. 
when they just give you a quarter pounder and right. fries. Is that fooling anybody? It's ridiculous. It's stupid. No. <laughs> yes. You know why? Because people go on TikTok and say, you yeah, get the Travis Scott. We out here getting the Travis Scott meal, fam. Uh, the BTS meal uh, was a, a big promotion, I guess. Uh, but it was just the same food. It was nuggets, fries, uh, and technically it's supposed to be Sprite, but whatever. It, it's it's a beverage. But the sauces were new. So they had two new sauces that came with the BTS meal. Uh, one of them was Cajun and the other was Sweet Chili. Uh, BTS meal officially ended, like I said, a couple weeks ago. But the sauces in the DoorDash uh, app were still there. They had yeah. Cajun. They had Sweet Chili. And so I was like, well, I'm going to do a BTS meal. I'm going rogue. I'm going... Uh, Filter. I'm, I'm going a, a, around. I'm not going in a straight line. I'm going around your uh, BTS meal is over uh, par, uh, uh, trick, and I'm going to make my own BTS meal. So we selected uh, Cajun sweet chili and tangy honey mustard. We got three sauces. It let you pick up to three. Right. So we got those three for a twenty piece, which they could throw in another sauce Heck or two yeah. for twenty piece. Although our kids don't eat any sauce with theirs. Right. Well, Lennox does ketchup, but yeah. that's from our fridge. We well, don't need a little. Right. Yeah, the sauces Sauce, are yeah. are for our uh, butter uh, uh, section in our refrigerator. Uh, but so I wanted to try these BTS sauces b- uh, because when I think of uh, Cajun, I think of K-pop, whatever. Uh, so we we got the BTS sauces. Okay, so the ordering process, uh, DoorDash, and we love this, honey. When the DoorDasher's uh, f- name pops up on my mm-hmm. phone, the fun begins. And her name was Tatiana. Tatiana. One might call her Tati. I call her Tati. Did you? Okay. okay. Yeah. I, well, I babysat her brother, honey. I practically raised a kid. Uh, but Tatiana was our door dasher. And so we were like, go Tatiana. So one thing about Tatiana, she got, she was, I think she was already there because she had the food very quickly. And as you know, honey, I, wa- I watched, uh, I went into a rabbit hole of YouTubes of door dashers and grub hubbers and Uber eaters and then, and they literally sit in their car in a parking lot with, a couple restaurants around and over there uh where the mcdonald's is there's a panda right there there's a taco bell and they just sit in their car staring at their phones waiting for an order to pop up yep, so they're so, ready to go yeah so i imagine tatiana was right there she grabbed the food and that oop. Uh, and then she came over here and we didn't live two minutes like drive from that mcdonald's uh but one thing that and it always dry, it, it, it boggles my mind like uh, the estimate was that she was going to take up to 30 minutes. And I was like, well, unless the McDonald's people are uh, having a smoke <laughs> or uh, or, uh, or not working. It's, it's hard to get labor these days, honey. It's hard to get people to show up for work. Uh, but she, she had the food in less than five minutes. And then she drove right over here. We had the food in 16 minutes, honey. Yeah. Uh, so Tati, girl, good on you. And she was driving a purple Prius, honey. Ooh. Yeah. And I waited till she left uh, to get our food. She put it on our doorstep, and then she drove away because I don't want to see. Uh, I don't want. I don't need to see Tati. No. Like I said, she probably doesn't want to see you either. Right. <laughs> we we don't need to see each other. Uh, we, we we grew up together. Like I said, her brother's my best friend, honey. And that oop. One thing I like that they did. Uh, McDonald's did this. Is they they have the food in a bag that's sealed with stickers. Like there were three uh, McDonald's or something stickers on top. So you knew the yes. bag was not tampered with. Yes, I really appreciate that. Yeah. You hear some horror stories about my fries were half eaten and yeah. the Uber drivers reach in and get a little snack for the road as they're driving your food to you. Well, ta- Tatiana's hungry, honey. Tati's hungry. Are you going to deny, deny Tati uh, uh, chicken McNugget? Well, I would hate for her to be hungry, but yes, I like when the the bag is, is sealed. Right, you know it hasn't been touched. Right, except by all the McDonald's employees themselves. Well, they're they're uh, nice young uh, people just out here trying to make a living, honey. Uh, so uh, okay, so let's get to our food. Uh, the hot and spicy McChicken. Uh, you had a bite of this, honey. Yes. Um, it was two dollars and twenty nine cents. Uh, do you remember anything about it? <laughs> I like the McChicken. And I do. It was spicy. Yeah. It had a good amount of spice. I yeah. like it. It's a good It's a good purchase. Yeah. I think it's more about uh, the, the low price tag, $2.29. Um, Especially these days, McDonald's prices have gotten really high, yeah. I think. Yeah. Across the board. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, it's fine. It, it, you get your money's worth for $2.29. <laughs> uh, I, I would give it a 4 out of 10 if I have to give it something. Yeah. Mm. Um, 
I, but the the mayonnaise and, and the lettuce, it's it's a fun combination. It's good, yeah. It's a good yeah. little sandwich. The 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 bun ain't great, but eh, whatever. Uh, the Big Mac, honey. Uh, so you were craving this. <laughs> we got a couple. Uh, and and what did you think about it, honey? It was good. It was everything a Big Mac ought to be. That's true. I love that sauce. Um, I usually don't like having more than one patty in my burgers or sandwiches. Yeah. But I think I was very hungry last night. It was good. Well, the, the, the McDonald's hamburger patty is quite thin. Yes, that's uh, but true, But they do, they do, because I, I, I don't understand, like, double hamburgers. Like, you can't, like, a hamburger has a patty. And then there's two buns on the top and the bottom, and fixins in the middle, whatever lettuce, tomato, anything you want. Uh, but that, that's that's the ratio: one patty, yes. two pieces of bread. And then and then people who order like double uh, quarter pounders, triple burgers, like w- w- you're throwing off the ratio. Too much meat. Yeah, too much meat. Yes, too much the meat. Ratio. It's overpowering. You you're like, where's the bread? Where's the bread? But with McDonald's. The Big Mac, it has the middle, the club part, that piece of bread in the middle. So they give you two patties, which, well, thin, but they give you the extra piece of bread in the middle there. So I think it makes it kind of, it, it all it all comes together. It's a good balance. Yeah. Uh, my Big Mac, I thought it was there was too much sauce. Now, I used to make these things, honey, when I was 16 years old. And uh, how did they, it's, they give you a little uh, sauce gun, like a oh, sauce uh, fun. Yeah. thing, <laughs> trigger. <laughs> Uh, sauce canister that you just pull the trigger and uh, a specific amount of sauce comes out. Uh, but m- mine had too much sauce, overpowering the entire sandwich. Wow. There was even like Big Mac sauce like on on the uh, the pack on the cardboard on the side of the the little cardboard uh, sandwich box, Big Mac box. So it was just it was there was too much going on and it completely ruined uh, uh, my Big Mac. Oh no. Um, I, I want to blame Tatiana, but like I, like I said, I grew up with the girl. Uh, her her parents practically raised me. Uh, but I would give my Big Mac a three out of ten because it was just too much sauce. Maybe I don't know. your sandwich maker was having a laugh and he gave you an, like two extra squirts with yeah. the gun. Or maybe he's like, people love Big Mac sauce. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have switched. Yeah, mine had a good amount of sauce, but not that much. Uh, and you know, I'm a sauce gal. Yeah. Well, I like sauce too, but it, it was too much. Um, yeah, so I, I give mine a, a 3 out of 10, honey. What, how was your Big Mac? Uh, 6.5. I don't know. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> uh, but but uh, it was classic Big Mac, yes. and it was uh, a familiar taste. It's not bad, but well, like I said, too much sauce. Uh, the Chicken McNuggets, uh, did you have any, honey? No. Okay. Uh, yes, I, ha- I did. I'm sorry, I had one. Okay, I, I had some. Um, Lennox might say I had too many. And that oop. Uh, I thought the nuggets were better than the, my previous outing, which I swore off nuggets for the rest of my life. Uh, they were freshly fried. They were good. Chicken juicy. I'd give them a 6 out of 10. Uh, do you remember your one nugget, honey? <laughs> How would you rate it? I don't know. Okay. It's fine. Good. Way to have a hot take. <laughs> uh, now, okay, let's get to sauces. Now, we ordered the BTS sauces. Two BTS sauces, Cajun sweet sweet uh, chili sauce and a honey mustard. Turns out they didn't give us either. They didn't have the Cajun and sweet chili, or they didn't give it to us. So we should have gotten three sauces. We ended up only getting two, and, two sauces. And both sauces were tangy honey mustard. The tangy honey mustard. Right. Biggest disappointment of the night. Yeah. There was no BTS sauce. And that oop. And then we got two uh, honey mustard sauces. Uh, should have been three. Uh, but the the honey mustard sauce, did you have any honey? Yeah, I dipped a nugget in it. And how did you like it? Yeah. I thought it was okay, but I think they should kick up the honey mustard factor by like two or three. Is it different than it's been in the past? Like a different recipe? No. Okay. But it's always just been underwhelming. Oh. Like I, I need more, I need, I need more power. I never get that. And that oop. Uh, I, I like their honey mustard sauce. But it needs to be kicked up a notch. Like I, w- when it comes to fried chicken, chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, all this uh, chicken stuff um, with with uh, batter and a coating. Uh, I, I like honey mustard. I always go with honey mustard at uh, most uh, fast food joints. Um, and McDonald's honey mustard sauce isn't bad, but it, it just needs more you know, more kick, more power. 
Um, the fries I thought were a good quality, but there was no salt, and mm. and salt is is just key to uh to french fry when, when i was a young man honey when i was 16 and i was filling stuffing uh the fry containers with more fries that were than the than the container could handle we salted the heck out of the fries so <laughs> it sounds like you worked at the best mcdonald's ever i i was the best employee at a mediocre mcdonald's <laughs> um but th- this one had no sauce so it, it did have the classic mcdonald's taste um and quality but no salt just, just a not just a different experience, d- different taste. A bad experience. Bad experience. Um, what wasn't a fan. Uh, I, I, it was a big miss for me. Uh, five out of ten. And that oop. Okay, so let's move on to Jefferson Bar and Grill. We went there uh, with your parents, Liz and Alan Fisher, who just came back from Barbados. They were there for three years, um, and this was their first time. Liz had been here a few times. Uh, but this is Alan's first time to our home. Uh, and you made us clean, honey. You made <laughs> me and the children clean uh, the bathroom. And we dusted and we wiped uh, things down and counters. Uh, and now that Liz and Alan are here for forever, honey, now that they're back permanently, are we going to have to clean every time Liz and Alan come over? Or was it just a one-time affair? Uh, th- we won't have to do it. To that extent, every mm. single time. Mm. But I love having company over and doing a deep clean of our house. Yeah, it's so sparkling and yeah. nice. We 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 did need to clean a little. We, yeah, but we, we keep our place in, in in order. We do. Like even Luna said, amongst all of her friends' houses, <laughs> uh, we have the most uh, nice uh, clean, <laughs> le, le, uh, low on clutter. I'm, yeah, we're not big on clutter. You and I both. Right. And I like to keep things just so. Right. We like to keep things to a minimum, but we we like our place feels lived in. It's not like super minimalist right. and, and clean lines and all that stuff. Uh, so uh, Liz and Alan, uh, Alan Fisher. So the, the the day this was July fifth, Monday, July fifth. Uh, Alan Fisher began the day playing frisbee golf at five a.m. with uh, his sons, and then uh, and then they went on a hike. Liz and Alan <laughs> with uh, Brandon Fisher's family. And then they came right to us. Like, well, what's up with all the scheduling, honey? Everyone's excited to see them. Yeah, they're, they've been busy ever since they got back. They're they're <laughs> they're overextended. I couldn't believe they had done so much in one day already. Right. We were wiped out from cleaning our house, but right. that doesn't even compare to what they'd done. You you uh, you wake me up from frisbee golf at five a.m. at about uh, six thirty a.m. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna take a shower and uh, have a coke and a smile. Uh, Alan loved our home. Yeah, uh, and it was there was nothing better than uh, your dad, my dad in law, and he was just enamored of our beautiful him uh, that my mom, Grandma Tian, paid sixty uh, percent of hey. for, <laughs> uh, and and we we gave them the tour, and I brought uh, your dad, Alan, into our bedroom, and I said, Alan, this is where the magic happens. Oh gosh! Okay, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> you should have. <laughs> But we went to we took them to Jefferson Bar and Grill, which is a new place. Um, it's it still hasn't technically officially opened because we talked to the waitress there and she said, "Oh, we're still under soft opening or whatever." Right, they call it. they're still kind of uh, tweaking the menu, seeing what people like, what yeah. they could change. Yeah, and we we didn't know where to take them. We've been we we narrowed it down to Burgers and Brew, which we've been to. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, Streets of London, which we waited forty five minutes <laughs> for food for. I love their food, but yeah. And it was just us. It was, it, we we, and we, we, were went, the, we went right when it opened. We were the first customers of the day, just yeah. you and I. And it took them 45 minutes to get us our food. Uh, but Jefferson Bar and Grill, we'd seen on Yelp and Facebook and na na na. Uh, so we're like, let's let's check them out. Uh, they're located at 1522 Jefferson Boulevard. Uh, they're the same owners as Railroad Fish and Chips in Old Sack. Have you ever been there, honey? No. Me neither. But they specialize in... Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Uh, but yeah, they're technically not open, delayed due to COVID, um, but it's not official. Okay, whatever. Uh, so there were six of us, uh, and we couldn't sit inside. So we had to sit outside. Yeah, none of their tables had more than four chairs. Right. And it, it What about a party of six, honey? It didn't look like the kind of tables you that you could easily put to, push together. And right. they're, it was kind of busy inside. Yeah. A lot of the tables were taken already. Yeah, and it's not it's it's an okay space, but it's not mm-hmm. huge. Yeah, it's not super small, but uh, there there wasn't much uh, 
finagling around we could do with the chairs. So we had to sit outside in the super hot temperatures, mid 90s, high 90s. Um, I thought they needed like cooling fans or, or yes. something outside. Yes. Some mist where they throw the mist at you, honey. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, we were in the shade. Yeah. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done that. Yeah. And thankfully, there was a small breeze. Very small. <laughs> <laughs> but we all relied on our glasses of ice water to oh keep us goodness. cool. Uh, we So their, their back patio, whatever, uh, back, back seating area, uh, it's a bunch of picnic tables. So we sat at a picnic table. Now, I hate sitting at picnic tables. Yes. What, why, why do people want to lean forward? <laughs> Uh, constantly while eating and drinking, honey. What, what, what do people have against back support? I don't get it. I hate picnic tables. I don't get picnic tables. Uh, do people not enjoy lumbar support, honey? <laughs> uh, I'm an old man. Okay, <laughs> I need I need back support. And you were uh, feeling it the rest of the day too. Yeah, your back was hurting. And it was super hot, so it's hot. There's no lumbar support. Uh, there and there was a TV on, a giant TV on, and it was like in the middle of the day. It's sunny; you can't, you can barely see the TV. I, I just thought, well, what was the point of that? Uh, let's move on to our waiter. So, uh, this uh, young gentleman, uh, Liz Fisher, uh, ordered uh, romaine, no, chicken Caesar, Caesar chicken salad. Yeah, the menu yeah. it has a Caesar salad. Yeah, no option to add anything to it; just Caesar right. salad. Right, and <coughs> you see, you see most menus. They they list a salad and then they say add chicken three dollars right. add fish four dollars yes that's very standard uh, but one thing is their menus were they weren't like uh, super formal and pretty with pictures and fancy font it was kind of, it was just a piece of paper that right. they laminated um, but so Liz Fisher got the Caesar salad and then she asked uh, can you put chicken on it she asked the waiter can you put uh, like a chicken breast on it and the waiter seemed confounded I mean it was literally met with that question which. You should be able to answer in zero seconds flat, yes or no. <laughs> no, we can't put a chicken breast. But for literally four or five seconds, he he was like pondering. Hmm, yeah. can, no one's ever asked me this. Can we put a chicken breast on a salad? And it was just, it was stunned silence. <laughs> I, I was flummoxed. He was, he was just beguiled. I, I found the whole thing odd. And then he, he said, yeah. His his answer was something like, "Oh yeah, we'll, we'll see if we could do that for you." Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck, dude. Uh, another thing. So it was hot, uh, and he he was he was giving us water while we were waiting for our food, uh, and he did the thing with the pitcher. And I'm not blaming him for this, but it's a thing where that he's pouring water, and there's a lot of ice at the bottom as he's pouring, and then all the ice comes <laughs> down to the front to the spout, and then. Bunch of water and uh, ice spilled out all over the table, and I don't blame the kid. But it it happens, like, doesn't it? Was, it? it was like the don't you know how to pour a pitcher? Or don't you know when that's about to happen? Uh, I, actually, I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often, and I'm surprised that people uh, waiters don't spill uh, coffee more often uh, in restaurants. Yeah, um, but it turned out to be a fun time because uh, darling daughter Luna Marie grabbed some ice, uh, put it down Lennox's shirt because again it's hot. And uh, Lennox squealed in delight and horror. Uh, it, was, it was a good time uh, <laughs> ice at the table. Uh, another thing, there were there were no napkins when he brought out our food. We asked for some napkins, and he only brought out five to ten, which always boggles my mind. Like, why don't they give you a, a whole Vanity Fair a pack of 30 napkins? I need at least three myself yeah. when I'm eating a meal. Yeah, my my meal was was messy, and I had one napkin. I, I think I, I borrowed one from you. I right. grabbed one of your used ones. <laughs> so I was just like, I, well, "Dude, give us more napkins. We need more napkins." Um, another thing about where we sat. So we were outside. We were the only ones outside. Yes. And there's no like windows. There's no uh, uh, open door. There there isn't like a where, where they put up the awning. So we were just out there alone, and it was kind of lonely. It was. And I felt like like he, he forgot about us multiple times. Um and and there and there was no one else out there, so it was like did, <laughs> did he forget about are we still here? What what's happening with our order? And I, I, I didn't like that. That was not fun. That was not pleasant. Um it seemed like everything took longer because we were out there we were out there on an island, as it were. Everyone else was in the fancy, beautiful air conditioning. We were out there in the hot sun. Uh, pouring ice down Lennox <laughs> Albert's shirt, um, and the, and another thing was that the door to get out 
to the back patio. It wasn't propped open. So when he brought out our food, he, he could only bring out two dishes at a time. He had to like open the door with his foot or push it open with yeah. the like walk backwards. Right. And he could only bring out two dishes at a time. And I was like, well, why don't they just prop the door open? Because <laughs> there's nothing more grand than when the, the waiter brings that huge carousel the round oh, uh, yeah. thing, and the, he's got six dishes on there, and they put it down and whoosh, 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 start whipping out uh, your your food. But he, he he like had to push the door open himself, so prop the door open. He was struggling too. I, the door looked like maybe it was kind of heavy. It was heavy, so yeah. Well, I was yeah. afraid he's gonna topple over and our food was gonna fall. Yeah, he was very much struggling with that. Felt bad for the guy. Uh, Lennox was playing with his ice, honey, in his cup. Why didn't you stop him? I because I don't care. <laughs> really? And it was so hot. Like I said, yeah. the only relief we had was our ice. Yeah. We went through a lot of ice water. I think yeah. we all got our glasses refilled about four times. Yeah. And because uh, we were we were the only ones out there, and this heavy door was closed <laughs> constantly. Um, uh, the default position was closed. Uh, the, he was like our waiter wasn't out there. He wasn't like checking in on us. He wasn't hovering. He wasn't buzzing around. It was just like quiet with the, with this giant TV in the hot sun. Um, and then so he did this thing. And I, I don't I, personally, I'm not a fan of this, honey, because this happened to us at Stone's Casino. Also, where when the food takes a long time, the waiter comes by and says, is everything OK? And it's like. Yeah, we're waiting for our food, dude. <laughs> like, no, I, we're, we're, there's only so much enjoyment I can get out of water, ice water. No, I'm not okay. Where's our food? How Where's about some our free bread? <laughs> free bread. How about some pretzels, some peanuts? <laughs> exactly. Or just, just give us something. Or I, I would like a, an estimate. Like, oh, your food's about to come out. Oh, it'll be about 10 more minutes. <clears throat> um, to, total took about 25 minutes. Okay. It felt longer. I guess because of the heat. Maybe. But, well, so when you place your order and the waiter goes away and puts the order in with the kitchen, how long should you wait before you're like, okay, this is taking so too long? <clears throat> I think the longest you should wait is 15 minutes. I was going to say 20. 20. I, I guess it depends on what you've ordered. Yeah. Because um, you, you have to think... How long is it going to take to cook this? I would like it to be cooked fresh, so I guess I do have to wait, yeah. depending on what I've gotten. Yeah. Well, th this took 25, maybe 30 minutes. Um, we were dying of heat stroke. Uh, and thank you for this plain tasting water. Uh, but And we were starving. But I, I would just like more than a check-in. Just it's, it's coming soon or give us an update. Well, it's like DoorDash. Your food will be there in eight <laughs> minutes. Can, can you can you uh, turn into DoorDash, uh, Mr. Waiter? Um, okay, so uh, our our total, uh, your parents paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how much it costs. I'd guess around 70 bucks. Everything was between 10 and $15. Um, and well, e even paying took a long time because we're out there. Oh, yeah. We're out there by ourselves. The waiter is nowhere to be seen or found. <laughs> they, they, his picture's on, on a milk box as far as I'm concerned, a milk carton. Uh, so even uh, having to pay, Alan had to walk inside because we were out there for a while. His credit card was in the little leather uh, booklet. <laughs> And after a while, he just walked in there to pay because it was like, dude, we're trying to pay. We're trying to get out of here. It's really hot. Did yes. you notice that? Uh, okay. <clears throat> so what did we order? Uh, Alan Fisher got the chicken club sandwich. Um, I don't remember him saying anything about it. But one thing that bothered me was he ate half his chicken breast. And then, and so I was like, well, there's more chicken. Did you want to eat it? But yes. <laughs> I wanted to bring it home. Well, I channeled Grandma T in inside me and I said, Alan, that, that's... That's money on the table there. Uh, it was a huge... Sa he did comment on the size. It was a huge sandwich. It was very tall. And it came with fries. Yeah. Uh, but, well, I, I would have taken it home. But I, I didn't pay, so I was like, eh, who cares? Uh, Liz Fisher got the Caesar salad with chicken. Which, she got her chicken. <laughs> which apparently they do. Uh, the one thing she said was that the chicken was dry. Uh, but then she did, uh, proceeded to dip it into a tartar sauce. Oh, yeah. We, got, we had a bunch of extra tartar sauce because the kids got it with their meals and didn't want it. Right. Uh, but chicken and tartar sauce, honey, is that, is that a yummy. heresy? Is that sacrilege? No, I think it's yummy. I yeah. dipped my fries in into the tartar. Yeah, I did fries into tartar. I love tartar sauce. Uh, chicken into tartar. My initial reaction was like, what the heck? But uh, 
The more I thought about it, I was like, mm, I, I would, I would try sure. that. Uh, let's get to what Luna and Lennox, uh, their food, uh, because they got featured plates. Uh, Luna ordered the fish and chips. Lennox Albert ordered uh, shrimp and chips, fried shrimps and chips. Um, f- first of all, the, their food came out, and and uh, they and these people who own this place, they also own a uh, railroad fish and chips in Old Sack. So this is this is their uh, this is their big plate. This is their. Uh, this is their Hail Mary dish, as it were. But their food came out, and I, I was like, wow. It was a feast yeah, for the eyes. It was enormous and for, beautiful. Well, first of all, the plates were like oblong. Like they were longer. Right. It wasn't just a regular circle plate. Yes. And how they, how they plated this was a buttload of fries on the bottom of the plate. Like me, I got a burger and fries, small plate, and on one side was a couple fries, and then a burger was on the other side of the plate. I would have liked a whole plate of fries and then throw the burger on top. <laughs> but uh, And Luna, Luna got the fish and chips. Three gargantuan pieces of fish. Lennox, I think he had seven or eight shrimp. Big ones. Yeah. And it was just, it was a feast for the eyes. Very aesthetically pleasing. They just came out glorious. And I felt kind of bad for what I ordered. Like, if I had known this is what uh, you, you'd gotten, uh, if you ordered the fish and chips, I, w- I would have gotten the fish and chips. Um, and, but right when I saw that, I was, there was so much food, I knew there were going to be leftovers. So I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get some fries. I'm going to get a shrimp. Uh, now w- what came out with, uh, they had very little tartar sauce. They both got a, a little cup of tartar sauce Yeah. and our darling children don't like tartar sauce, but I was thinking if I like tartar sauce and I like tartar sauce and I ordered the fish and chips, I, I could go through like three of those little yes. cups per a huge piece of fish. Definitely, you would have had to ask the waiter for extra. Yeah, so they, just bring the whole bottle. Right. <laughs> give me, give me the, give me the, give me the jar of Hellman's mayonnaise. Chop up some pickles, and I'll make my own tartar sauce. And that uh, oop. Uh, one thing I thought was funny was that Lennox. So he got the fried shrimp, uh, and we were, and he was like, "Do I eat the whole thing?" Oh yeah. And we were like, "No." You stop at the tail. And so he kept like biting closer to the tail. He's like, am I done yet? Am I done yet? <laughs> and that's something that, I, where do you learn that? I don't know. Don't eat the tail. But I've eaten a few tails here and there, honey, in my life. And Ooh, I don't think I have. Really? That was cute. Well, he was like, how do I eat this? Yeah. It was like, keep going. Keep going a little bit closer tail, a little bit closer. Stop. Stop. In the name of love. Uh, so uh, Luna polished off her uh, fish. She had a bunch of fries. She had some fries left over. But let's talk about Lennox Albert. So he went from the highs of highs. Because when he was eating the first few shrimp, he was like, this is really good. I like shrimp. Why don't we get shrimp more often? He loved his food. Yeah. At and, first. Right. <laughs> and then when he got through about like the fourth or fifth shrimp in, he just became like a <laughs> maudlin. Or, it said, was too much. It was too said, much grease. I'm getting too full. Yeah. This is too much. And he put his head down on the table. <laughs> yeah. he The highs and lows. And th- that's pretty much me every weekend. Right. I eat way too much. I enjoy the first part. And then I want to die uh, 45 minutes later. And my stomach is in pain. Uh, and it was funny to see uh, our our son, darling uh, Lennox Albert, uh, just go through uh, the peaks and valleys of a... Uh, Eating too much or over <laughs> overindulging. I had one of his shrimp, and I think it was the grease because there was a lot of batter, and it was mm-hmm. good, but it was it was a lot of a, of a crunch going on there, lots of grease. Um, so I think I think that's what would hurt the kid. Um, and uh, so when uh, at one point I was because I knew he wasn't going to finish. It was a lot of food, and I wanted a shrimp. So I said, "Hey, Len, I don't know if you caught this, honey." I did. Oh, okay, I said, "Hey, Len." Uh, can I have a shrimp? And he said, no. And then I said, and I was now, I, I was sitting across from Alan Fisher, but I, 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 fle- I, fl- I put on my stepdad, my big stepdad pants and I flexed in front of him, honey. And I said, Lennox, when I ask you if I can have a bite of your food, you should say, yes, darling stepdad, who would give me the shirt off his back you may have a bite of my shrimp. Do you think I went too far there? Did, did I handle it? You handled it just fine. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm big on, let's all share. Yes, you are. Yeah. Because we love food and we love to eat. But in the end, it's just food. And it's all about, it's more about congregation and socializing and ritual and just enjoying ourselves. Yeah. 
And so if I want a shrimp, Lennox, just let me have a shrimp. And he didn't, he couldn't finish his shrimp. Did you eat the last one or two? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I ate a bunch of his fries. <laughs> uh, Those were good thick fries. Yeah, uh, yeah. They were good seasoning. Ooh. Yeah. They were yummy. Uh, so I grabbed a shrimp. I pulled rank in front of Alan Fisher, but I, I hope he respected me <laughs> because I'm all about uh, giving and receiving in our, our little family unit here. Uh Okay, so let's get to what you ordered, honey. Uh, you got the classic BLT with applewood smoked bacon, uh, and it came with fries. Um, yeah, big. How, how was serving it? Serving of fries. It was very good. Love me a BLT. Mm-hmm. It was kind of hard to eat because the we've talked before about my sensitive mouth. Yes. <laughs> the bread was very toasted. Okay. So it kind of hurt my lips. Mm. And then the bacon was so crispy. Ah. It was really good, but I, it was really hard to just take a bite out of the sandwich. Mm-hmm. And some of the bacon came out. I ended up just eating some of the bacon plain. Mm. It was really kind of difficult to eat, but it, the taste was very good. Okay. I liked it. You like it a lot. And that oop. But do you wish the bacon was softer? Well, you, you have problems eating like really crunchy things or yeah, hard things. Yeah, I do. I'm a delicate gal. You are. You're, you're you're very dainty uh you're very girly and feminine um but uh the 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 bacon was you would appreciate it if it was more tender you know what i don't know what, i don't know what would have made me happy mm. because i also i also will complain if my bacon is undercooked yes like i don't want it soft or yeah. chewy you want your bacon crisp yeah i guess it could have just been like slightly less crunchy Gotcha. Uh, just slightly cooked a bit less. Yeah, bacon is a, oftentimes just a miss, even though it's, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, how it's cooked at most places, it's like, mm, I, uh, you. well, everyone has the, you, the, the meme or picture or whatever. Uh, it has eight different oh, yeah. uh, bacons of how they're cooked. Yes. Uh, choose one through eight. And then it's like a bunch of people choose two, a bunch of people choose seven. So it's all over the map. And I guess Jefferson Bar and Grill just wants to be, be middle of the road. Um, I like super crispy, super well done. But how, how would they even know that? Um, they should ask like when you order a hamburger. Yeah. How do you want your bacon cooked? They should show that that <laughs> meme. They should show that picture. One through eight. Uh, eight. Okay. We'll be right back. Uh, so uh, one to ten, honey, your uh, classic meal uh, too. Seven. Okay. Is good. 7.5. And you like your fries? Yeah. I thought the fries were very good. Okay. You know I like a thick fry. You do. And I thought the seasoning was really nice. It, was, it wasn't just salt. There was yeah. like some sort of seasoning on it also. Yeah. It had an orangish brownish color. <laughs> yeah. It's called Laurie's, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's fancy. It's a classy joint. Uh, I got the classic hamburger made with fresh 80-20 ground Angus. Uh, it's described as fresh hand formed. Ooh. What does that mean? Mm. They're making the patties. They caressed it with their palms of their hands. <laughs> For, did, did they have a? Did, did they uh, get a manicure beforehand, honey? Or maybe this is the manicure. Uh, maybe th- this keeps your uh, your skin young and uh, fertile. Uh, fresh hand formed ground Angus comes with lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and a thousand island dressing. Now, right away, why did why did they put a thousand island dressing on it? Or why did why did they call it a Thousand Island dressing? Is it? Do you think it's literally a bottle of Thousand Island that they just yes. pour out? <laughs> yes, that, it, it, it's a craft bottle of Thousand Island dressing that they just <laughs> nah, give it's you great a, value. A dollop. Well, it's great value, even <laughs> even worse. But I was I just thought why why are you telling me this is a Thousand Island? Throw Oops. throw some throw some uh, chili powder in there and call it a garlic aioli. They make me feel fancy. Yeah, they should or they like special homemade sauce, yeah. whatever. And then yeah, yeah. They, they could just throw in something in with the Thousand Island to change it up slightly. Yeah, the the Jefferson Bar and Grill special sauce. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not I don't work in marketing, but I think I got a winner here. Um, and throw throw a little cayenne pepper in there, uh, a little olive oil. Mix it around, <laughs> and voila, uh, you, you can charge you can upcharge that burger by $2 because there's super uh, special sauce on there. Uh, I got it well done because I like texture, uh, and I upgraded the fries to garlic fries. Um, yeah, so let me start with the garlic fries. Uh, it was good. Uh, I wanted more garlic, but 
It was mo- a lot. A lot of places you order garlic fries and they give you like a quarter teaspoon of garlic. <laughs> yeah. And it's like I I ordered garlic fries. I want garlic everywhere. You want to see those chunks of garlic? Yeah. All over every yeah. fry. Yeah. And you want like a bunch of like uh, dry parsley. You want some green in there. Um, so there wasn't a ton of garlic, but it was more than your average place. So I appreciated it. I, I they could have kicked up the garlic. The amount of garlic by uh, three times, uh, but they, they were good. Um, but as far as the fries, some were done perfectly, like cooked perfectly. Uh, but then the next fry would be undercooked, like wilted, mm. limp, flaccid. So I thought there was like inconsistency in the in the French fries, um, which uh, I, I, I was not a fan of. I did not appreciate. Uh, you ate my pickle. It was the, <laughs> now it came with the pickle. But it, they weren't pickle chips inside the burger. It was a pickle oh. across the top of the top of the bun, yeah. and you ate the pickle um, right away, uh, yes. which that's fine. Um, but I would appreciate it. I, I don't. I don't like when they put the pickle on top of the bun with the toothpick, <laughs> because then the pickles moisture, sauce, oh, wetness, yeah, 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 drips into the bun, and then you got like vinegary uh, hamburger bun all of a sudden. Uh, so put it on the side. Or give me some pickle chips uh, somewhere in the middle of the hamburger. Um, I thought the burger was fine. Uh, but, it, well, honestly, I shouldn't have ordered it well done. <laughs> it was too well done. Um, another thing, and this is just a, a general complaint. But, like, so hamburger, uh, it has the tomatoes, onions, lettuce. So there's moisture. There's water going on there. And while I'm eating the hamburger, like, just drips of uh, water or condensation or whatever starts coming down onto my fries. So I was, I was like, uh, that's that's not pleasant. That's not you know a what? good time. I love that. What? It, it's like extra seasoning on my fries. Water? You want to put water on <laughs> your not, French fries? Well, it's, it's water, but it's mixed with like the burger juices and the condiments. Yeah, it's sort of a fry sauce. Well, I <laughs> like uh, how, uh, how they... Uh, the plates that you serve food to a three-year-old, how they have the borders and the dividers. Right. Man, I would like that. Like, here, here's the area with the burger, and I can eat the burger, and it can drip all at once, and my fries stay uh, crispy and and, uh, and, and and crunchy. You're onto something there. <laughs> uh, the Angus patty, it was fine. Uh, hand, hand-formed ground Angus, it was fine. But again, I, sh- I should have gotten it well done. That was my bad. Uh, I, I thought the bun seemed low quality. It fell apart in the middle uh, of, my, of my burger. And so Ooh. then I start getting uh, Thousand Island on my fingers <laughs> and, and uh, meat juices. <laughs> and, and so and and our waiter didn't bring us enough uh, napkins. So I was and I actually left to uh, go wash my hands when I was done because I had so much stuff on my uh, hands and fingers. Um, so uh, I, I give my hamburger, my classic hamburger uh, and fries. Uh, five out of ten. Um, but if if we do go back, I have no desire to go back. But if we do go back, I'm getting the fish and chips because, mm. like I said, they were out of control. Uh, so Jefferson Bar and Grill, do we like it? Honey? Um, are we gonna go it was back? Okay, with so many. Choices? I don't know if we'll ever go back. Hmm. But maybe we should because maybe they're gonna change some things. Because, like she said, they haven't had their like official grand opening yet. Yeah. I'd, I'd give it another chance. Maybe in six months or so we can go see what they have going on. Yeah. she. Well, she said, uh, yeah, we're, we're not. A, it's it's a soft opening and it's not official. So if you guys have any uh, comments or notes, uh, let us know. And I was like, I have I have a lot of uh, comments and notes. And I'll be doing a 75-minute podcast on how <laughs> bad this uh, this place was. Uh, well, and to be fair, it was July 4th or July 5th. Yeah. So it was weekend. It was a little busy. Maybe the guy was over. Maybe the waiter was overwhelmed, or he was new, or whatever. I, I think they're still ironing out the right. Key, what's that phrase? The kinks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're still figuring things out a bit. Yeah. Well, put put some uh, regular chairs in in the back yard, uh, and uh, and and prop that door open with the just put a <laughs> giant rock right there or a brick. Well, the, they don't want it always open because then all the hot air would be getting inside, and the gnats will be getting inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah. what to do? The next, <laughs> the point is, uh, well, we got to go somewhere that can accommodate six people. But how do you even know what "quote unquote" accommodates six people? Anyways, alrighty, that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown up. 
make your own decisions, do what's best for your family. Please be sure to use our promo code for Feels CBD. We don't have a promo code for Feels CBD. Goodbye. I love you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, I may have swiped a fried prawn from my stepson's plate without permission, but I'm still a good person and we're still good people. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day slash night. Oh, bye bye. Okay, that's the official end of the show, but here's some bonus content for those who follow us on OnlyFans. We don't have an OnlyFans. For all you fans of ASMR or Mukbang, or if you're a furry, here's us eating McDonald's. Enjoy. And that oop. She's, she, she's, she's here. Get here. Calm down. Go see for being cool. Oh, it's blue. It's a Prius. It's kind of purpley. Nice. No, it's a cyan. It's a cyan. Oh, blue. No, no, no it's a Prius. It's a Prius. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the cyan and the Prius logo look very. Look at this booper. Booper. He's on the. Okay, Tati is gone. Because <laughs> you don't want to see her. They're combing her hair. Okay, lover, come do your thing. What am I doing? You, you, uh, allocate it. Luna. Yeah? Tatiana brought us lunch, Luna. Would you like some french fries? Yes. Get your bow tie down here. Yes, ma'am. Lanak. Do we want, um, plates? I don't know. How about we do... Those fries will spill How about, how about plates? Yeah, how about Did plates? Did you guys even start this episode yet? What? <laughs> the TV show? Yeah. No. We're trying to eat first, girl. <laughs> I had to... I had to coerce Vince into getting us food. Let's not talk about that. <gasps> Pepper. Absolutely. Obviously. All right. Now allocate. The knock. Why will he love me? You. Let up. Yeah. Sit your bootay down. You. Mm-hmm. You. That that boy. That boy there. You. You. When we go to San Diego, we're gonna get McDonald's again for like breakfast. Heck yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, before the grapevine. I want an egg McMuffin, so can someone have my uh, yep. meat? Yes, 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 yes. Well, Lennox. Well, this could be an eye on Tatiana. I like to call her Tati. Lover! What'd you do to that sandwich? I did nothing. <laughs> it spilled out from its wrapper. <laughs> This is already wrong for BTS. Why? Between Cajun oh. and Thai chili. <gasps> There's nothing? They gave us two honey mustards. Sure. Maybe it's because the BTS is over with. Then why are they listed? Do you know? Yes. This is the only the second time in my life I've had a Big Mac. Right. What? Lennox can't believe it. Nugget, my love. Yes, sir. Hmm. Not only did they give us only two sauces, they're the wrong. They're supposed <laughs> to give us three. Oh, yeah. Is. It was like mandatory you had to choose three. Mm -hmm. You know what? A Big Mac is so good. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. What is that? A burnt fry. You really burnt fry. Burnt fry? You don't want it? He just he just ate it, so I don't want his dreams. I'll eat it. Shoot. Who ate it? Oh. 
Mm-mm-mm. How many of those nuggets is Donnie going to eat? Two? All ten. <laughs> Whatever. Place my breast. Baby, he, he gave him a four piece and there's three of them in the fridge. <laughs> For like two days. I'm not shaming you, Lynn. I'm just standing with that. I think he'll eat all ten. Truly. Can I have some ketchup? Yes, sir. Do you know how to open those yourself? Taco sauce, dude. Too much. On what? I blame Tatiana. <laughs> Too much Thousand Islands or Big Mac sauce. Oh, really? Doesn't it usually come like that? That's a good point. Mm-mm-mm. I think it's yummy. <coughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Need water? Drink water, Mom. <laughs> All right. So. What is this? Spicy McChicken, whatever. Hot spicy. Is that a normal menu item? Mm-hmm. Huh. Very spicy. I'm sad we missed the BTS sauces. Hmm. Oh, just normal sauce. Yeah. You poo pooed on them. I did. You well, were skeptical. Mm -mm. Well, no, I poo pooed because the entire meal was just. It was this with. Two. It was this with two different sauces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Burger King sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, boy. This is tender juicy. Are you guys happy? Mm hmm. <laughs> Both smile and nod. Wow. That Big Mac looks really good. I haven't had that in a long time. Thank you, honey. That's good. Thank you. Did you have that? Mm-hmm. How about you? I'm still full. <laughs> okay, I'll just stop whenever you're done. I know you already ate four hash browns. Yeah. So you're probably full. You want to this, please? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So are you all done? What are you all done with? Um, I might eat those. What? I might not eat these. Okay. Do you want to eat I'm these? I'm going to eat these, definitely. Okay. Just, uh, don't throw those away. Can we eat them? Uh, no. <gasps> I'm probably going to eat them. I don't know. Let me and Vincey eat them. You can eat the nuggets. Okay. <laughs> you don't look happy. <laughs> you look sort of sick. I'm sick. <laughs> you look like a uh, Jefferson Bar. What? He's gonna give me half brown. Well, I, I didn't know then. Oh, shoot. <laughs> mm. 
No salt. Oh yeah. Can you taste me? Oh. I mean, you know, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> then if you're full, sick, just go lay down. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Put this in the fridge. Put it in my belly. No. <gasps> no. What happened there? Goodness gracious. The guys are not going to eat those. Why not? I won. <laughs> All right. Bye, son. Bison. Get it? Bison. B I S O N. Bison. Uh huh. I'm sorry, we're hungry. Those put in the fridge. We're hungry. And we paid for it. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll save the nuggets for you, okay?